we've been selling Accords for 37 years. First one came out in 1976, so it's been a big part of the Honda family. Second passenger car that we ever sold in Canada, so we're talking about going back right to the roots of Honda. And from a, a business perspective, we have three core models that we sell in Canada, Civic, CRV, and Accord. Combined, those three vehicles represent 80% of our sales volume. So we're not talking about a little niche product that we'd like to sell one or two of. This is a vehicle that really contributes to the success of Honda Canada. My initial guess is that they've come a little closer to what they need to be with this car. I think it's still conservatively styled. There's more than a few elements of BMW 5 Series in there. Uh, but again, they point out that an Accord has to look good 10 years down the road. And we saw the, the history of the cars that parked out on the courtyard there. And you can see some of those cars still have an attractive style to them. The other thing about Accords is they tend to last a long time. Uh, I know people that have 300, 400,000 kilometers on their Accords and they want the car to keep looking good. So they've probably got the style about right, even if it's not that exciting. For Honda, the key here is to come out with a car that is bigger, quieter, more fuel efficient than ever before, and has modern powertrains and all the gizmos and doodads that uh, the competition have put into the marketplace and really scared Honda. We call the uh, these series of engine Earth Dreams technology. And for Accord, we have uh, three itinerations uh, with three engines and three uh, transmissions. A 2.4 liter four cylinder, a uh, 3.5 liter V6, and the PHEV technology, the plug-in hybrid. Today's vehicles are built like tanks, 50, 100 airbags. That's called passive safety to help save you in the event of a crash. But then there's active safety, which will prevent you from having that crash, hopefully. We've got ABS brakes, traction control, and so on. Well, this new Accord comes with some really cool active safety goodies. But the one I like is the Lane Watch. There's a camera embedded in the right side view mirror. And when you're passing somebody and then going back into the lane, when you hit your indicator, look what comes up on this eight inch screen. It's brilliant and extremely useful. Also, it may teach people because the only way this thing works is you have to indicate first. It may teach people that you signal before you turn and not during the turn. And you know who you are. Fun to drive is one of the things that we're all about. And what better way to express that in a coupe version. The change in owners becoming empty nesters, perhaps the need for a sedan is not there, but they still want to have an Accord, and that's why we think it's important to offer that product. This car, um, the, the four-cylinder especially, um, very nice fuel in, uh, direct fuel injected engine, quiet ride, comfortable cabin, uh, fuel economy, performance, I mean these things uh, were uh, a surprise, but maybe that's because I was, I was expecting to be disappointed. To me the biggest improvement is inside. The interior quality is much better and uh, it's still got lots of space and, and it's comfortable. I like the seats. Even domestic automakers in North America, uh, like General Motors and Ford, um, are, are not afraid of Honda anymore. And when you lose that fear, um, it, it, I think that opens up a lot of possibilities, A, for the manufacturer that's bringing the product to market. The other thing is that consumers out there are saying, well, maybe I can choose a different car than that Honda Accord that I didn't even test drive the last three that I bought because I knew it was going to be good. And now Honda has to win it in the showroom. Well, the Accord is a twenty-five dollars to $35,000 car. People can afford cars like that. They probably have jobs. They probably are 55, 60 years of age. Does anybody when they're 16 or 17 years of age think, wow, I'm just dreaming of owning an Accord someday. But your priorities change as you get older. And those particular customers, I think they want what this car is going to offer. So after 30 years of production, I have to wonder, why do people continue to buy what is essentially a military truck? This is hand-built, it's incredible off-road, it's rugged, it's masculine, and ugly as hell. But then that's what makes it so memorable. Big Brother is watching, even when you're least expecting it. More later on Kenzie's Corner.